Hello everyone, it's me, Lamer Gamer. Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm bringing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a rotating social media widget, quite similar to the one that we've got up here. The widget can be found in Stream Elements, and I'm using the widget that I create in Stream Elements as a browser source in my Streamlabs OBS software. Now, if you do like this video and you find it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the little bell so you get a notification every time I go live or post a new video. You can also find me streaming live on Twitch, as well as all the other social media platforms, like this thing is telling you right now. Anyway, let's head over to Stream Elements and create that widget. So the first thing you're going to need to do is head over to StreamElements.com and connect Stream Elements to your streaming software. So in this case, because I'm a Twitch streamer, I'm going to be connecting my Twitch account with Stream Elements. So once you've put all the relevant information and connected Stream Elements to your streaming platform, you will then be brought to this page. On the left hand side of this page you will see Alerts and Overlays and you want to go to Theme Gallery. Once in Theme Gallery, select across the top Widget. Now there are lots of widgets that you can use as browser sources into all your other streaming software such as Streamlabs OBS and OBS. But the one we're looking for is Social Media Rotator, which can be found at the bottom. To check you've selected the right widget, select Preview, and a small window will appear showing the widget itself in operation. As you can see here, it shows all the various social media banners, as well as show your individual handles. So this is the one for us. You then want to select Create My Overlay. Now at this point, you can either add this new widget to an existing overlay, or add it to a brand new overlay. In this case, we're going to make a brand new one. We're going to give it a name here, and once I'm happy with the name, I'm going to click Create My Widget. Now instantly, it gives us the option to copy and paste the URL or HTML link to the widget. However, I want to modify this so it has my own social media tags, so I'm going to select See Theme in Overlays. I'm then going to scroll down and find the social media widget that I've just created here, and click Edit. Instantly it takes me to the social media widget where you can see already it says YouTube name, Twitter name and various other generic social media handles. Also to the right there are some instructions on how to configure the widget. To see these more clear you have to select them and then go to the left hand side and click the make visible icon on the left. It looks like an eye so hopefully that should be pretty self explanatory. Returning to the left hand side of the screen I want to click social media rotation widget by Benno. Once I've selected this, I can then begin to configure the widget with my own social media handles. If you expand the settings tab, you will see all the various information that you can input and edit in the widget. I'm going to change my Twitter name here to my Twitter handle, and it has instantly updated it. I'll do the same with my YouTube handle. And once again, it has updated it instantly. Once you're happy that you've put all the necessary information in, you can edit this widget even further, including changing the font and size, as well as the colour of the text. You can also change the orientation as to whether you have the image before the text, or the text before the image. It's easy enough to change this orientation around. All you have to do is go down to where it says Order Social, and then you have to select Name first. Once you've done this, it will have swapped the icon and text orientation of that particular element of the widget. I personally prefer icon than text. Once you're happy with the look of your widget, you have to select save, which can be located in the top right hand corner of the window. It is really important to save your work, otherwise when it comes to using the browser source in your streaming software, none of the changes will have been updated and you will still have the default text in the widget. Now you need to select copy overlay URL, which is located next to the preview button and head to your streaming software. Now as you may or may not recognise, I'm using Streamlabs OBS, however this works for most streaming software as long as you can use browser sources. For those of you that know how to add browser sources, it's pretty straightforward, but all you have to do is press this little plus, which is add a new source, then you want to select browser source, select add source, then you need to click the little checkbox at the bottom to make sure that you are adding a new browser source, and give it an easily recognisable name. Select Add Source. 
Once you've done that, you then need to paste the URL that you've just copied from Stream Elements. I also like to set the base canvas for each browser source to the same as the one I've created in Stream Elements. I can always crop it down later. Once you're happy that the browser source is transferred across, you then press Done. Now as you can see here, I still have the instructions visible. To remove these, you have to head back to Stream Elements. To get rid of these, all you have to do is go back into Stream Elements and toggle the visibility off, just like you did at the start. And also, don't forget to press save, otherwise it won't update and your browser source will still have the instructions on. The changes in your streaming software should be pretty instantaneous, so head back there and see what it looks like. Once you're happy that your browser source is looking how it should, you then just need to crop and resize it to the required size. Once you're happy with the size of your new widget, all you have to do now is move it to a location that you want on your scene. And there you have it, you've created your own rotating social media widget. I like using this because it doesn't draw too much attention from the content that I'm trying to stream, but it gives you just enough information to know what you're looking at and where to find you on other things. Like I said, if you did find this short tutorial useful, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little bell. I also stream regularly on Twitch, so you can find me over there. And as this social media widget has been constantly twirling around in the background, you can also find me on all of these social media links. In the meantime, you take care and I'll see you online. Cheers.